Welcome to Art Starts Explores. I'm Kay, and I work at Art Starts as a gallery coordinator and preparator. I am proud to be continuing our public programming online so that it can be enjoyed by families across the province. Every month, we select a new theme to explore through our weekly Saturday workshops and performance series. This month, we're going to explore string. If you think about it, you probably have a piece of string on you right now. From clothing and sewing, to jewelry, to binding and organizing, string has so many uses and is available in so many varieties. Whether it's a thin thread or a multi-strand piece of cord, string is a multi-purpose material and tool that offers us so many avenues to explore. Our online series encourages you to explore visual art making themes with us, with family and friends, with your classmates, and on your own. There is no one way or right way to explore being creative. But if you've never joined us for Explores Online or in our gallery space before, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about the three rules or guidelines we'd like to follow. First is respect. We practice respect for ourselves by listening to how we feel, respect for others by listening and sharing, Respect for the land by acknowledging the nations and indigenous people who have served and continue to serve as guardians and stewards of the land, and by doing our best to be respectful guests as we learn and play here. Second is no expectations. Try not to plan too much before trying something today. If we get a picture in our heads of how something should turn out, we can be disappointed with ourselves when it doesn't. Try practicing surprise and always ask. I wonder what will happen if I... Third is that nothing is for keeps. In the gallery in Vancouver, we like to say, take nothing away with you except your experience. But since many of you are practicing social distancing and are not making in public spaces, we challenge you to unmake everything you try today, wherever you are. This means after you finish trying something, try to take it apart so you can use it again for something else. Try not to make any completed thing, and whenever possible, pull from your recycling bin to practice. And if it can still be recycled when you're done, put it back. Trying something new doesn't need to make something for keeps, and that's just what we're practicing today. For today, let's get a piece of string. You could get some yarn, some cotton string, a thread, some rope, an old shoelace, or even some floss. Let's start by really looking at the string we're exploring with today. Deep looking at your art making materials is a great way to get focused and discover things you might not have considered if you just started making. If you look closely at your string, what do you notice? If you close your eyes and touch your string, what do your fingers tell you? If you listen to your string as you move it, bend it, or pull it, what do you hear? Does your string have a smell? When we feel like we've really looked and experienced the string by itself, we can start to play with the string. Without any direction from me or anyone else, what does it look like to you to play with string? Make up your own rules. Take a minute or two to just play with your string. If you're not sure what to do, try laughing at your string. Can you shape? or position your string in a silly or funny way?
what would a happy piece of string look like? If you were going to imagine your string had a personality and it was happy, what would that look like? Can you shape your string into a happy string? What would change if your string became sad? How would you change the position of your string? And if your string was tired, what would tired string look like? You make the rules. There are no official right or wrong ways to express yourself through string today, as long as you're respecting yourself and anyone making with you. Now that our string has shown us some emotion, let's pretend our string is a character. Shape your string into an imaginary character. This could be a shape of something you find in the real world, or it could be something you made up, or something that feels right to you after having gotten to know your string. Thinking about the emotions we tried earlier, can you again express emotion through this new shape or character you've created? There are lots of ways you can explore with string, and I've just suggested a few. Be sure to download our activity resource guide this month for additional questions you can ask each other, and some words you can use to challenge yourself when you're playing with string. And don't forget, when you're all done playing and exploring, try to take things apart and put them away again so that the only thing that is left behind are the experiences and pictures in your brain. I hope you enjoyed this month's theme introduction video about string. We will be hosting live visual art making sessions on string for the next three Saturdays at 11 a.m. PST, where you can make with me wherever you are and ask questions. Be online at facebook.com slash artstarts around 11 a.m. in the morning, and you'll see our workshop streams go live. We save all our live workshop videos after as well, so you can check out one of our past workshops anytime and again with friends. On the last Saturday of the month, we'll have a live online performance on Facebook Live by one of the performing and touring artists in the ArtStarts directory. There's always something free to explore and play along with on Saturdays at 11 a.m. online with ArtStarts in schools. All families, young learners, guardians, friends, and creative folks of all ages are welcome to join us online. I hope to see you soon.